Does this shirt make me look big? Does it make me look fat? Booty, 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 booty. Oh, squeaky. Aloha, CAE world. Did you guys ever want to know what is on the listening portion of the Cambridge Advanced exam? Well, today we're going to talk about that, outline what to expect on the exam, and then talk specifically about each listening task. Hold on to your butts, because here we go. Here's some general facts about the format of the exam. Number one, it's a 40 minute section of the test. Number two, there's 30 questions. Number three, each question is worth one point, or one mark, as the British would say. Number four, you get to listen to each excerpt twice, which is amazing. Number five, you need to be ready for all different types of listenings. So you've got interviews, conversations, uh, even lectures. Finally, number six. You get five minutes at the end of the listening portion to transfer your answers. You get to transfer your answers from your test booklet to an answer sheet. And this is great because that way, during the test, you won't be freaking out trying to make sure you get the right answers on that answer sheet. You can save it till the end. Okay, now let's break the parts of the listening section down. Part one, you've got three excerpts to listen to, three conversations, literally about anything. Daily life, pollution, whatever. Also, for this part, you get to read the questions before the listening starts, so you can become familiar with what you're listening for. Part two, sentence completion. This is my favorite part. It's kind of fun, um, but, and it's a big but, it's not your average fill in the blank with what you hear. It's different because you don't see the exact same sentences on your paper as you hear. So let me explain with the slide. For example, if I see on my paper Climate change is currently one of the biggest, blank, to our ocean's ecosystems. I do not hear this exact sentence. I could hear, today, major threats to the world's marine habitats include plastic waste, overfishing, but most of all, climate change. So they switch it up on you to keep you on your toes and make sure you can grab the right word. But... You also get to read the questions before the listening starts, so that's amazing. Part three is multiple choice, again. But this time, it's not three little excerpts, but it's one big one, a four minute listening excerpt. But again, it could also be anything, conversation, lecture, uh, your basic multiple choice. And then there's part four, the monster, multiple matching. Yeah. For this task, you have five small excerpts to listen to from five different speakers. And all of the excerpts are about the same topic. The excerpts could be about a life achievement, a life change, or why uh, the people decided to live abroad. Each excerpt is about 30 seconds long, which is great, but you're also doing two tasks for one part. So that makes it challenging. But let me explain with a slide. So you have five matches to make on the left. Here you have to match these five speakers with their statements based on this question at the top. But at the same time, you also have five matches to make on the right side about a different question over here at the top. So you're listening for double the information here. It's tough, but in my multiple matching video, we'll talk about some strategies for it. And that's it. The listening section of the CAE in a summary. Now you can find this information and sample tests from the past and sample listening audio at this website 
www.cambridgeenglish.org, which I will link below in the description. You're welcome. You definitely need to be familiar with this site. Plus, it's where you register for the test. All right, so check out my videos on tips for each specific listening task coming soon. Thanks for watching. Love you guys long time. I'm gonna go eat some pizza, so bye.